Welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to create and edit a Clicker book. Clicker books provide you with an easy way to create speech supported on screen books for your learners and can be used in any curriculum area. Children of all ages and abilities can also create their very own talking books. And we'll look at additional features to support them in the next Clicker Books video. Let's now look at how to create a Clicker book. First, go to the Clicker Search ribbon and click New. Then select the Books tab. Here you can see that there are lots of templates to choose from, but we're going to start with a blank Clicker Book page. We'll create a reading book by adding different elements to the page. First, we'll add a text box by clicking here, drag the square handles to resize, and the hand to move the box. To add text, double click on the text box. We can type directly in the box, or in this case, we'll paste some text from elsewhere. The text box automatically adds a scroll bar if there is too much text. Or with the text box selected, we can go here to make the text size smaller, either choosing from the default sizes or typing in a size. We'll add another text box for some additional text. and we'll resize the font again. We can change the appearance of a text box by selecting it and going here. We could change the color of the background, the text itself, or the border. But let's just make the text box transparent. Now let's add a picture to our page by clicking this. We can resize and move it the same way as the text boxes. When we select it, we can use these at the top to add a graphic, paint a picture, or take a photo or video. We'll search for a picture of reptiles in the CrickPix2 library. And we'll also make the picture box transparent. When no other objects on the page are selected, we can change the background colour of our page here. To give children support when they're reading this book, we'll add a speaker button to the page. Again, we can resize, move and change the appearance of the speaker button. To use the speaker button, we'll leave edit mode by clicking go. When we click the speaker button, it reads both text boxes, highlighting the text as it reads. Reptiles are cold-blooded animals. We'll go back into edit mode by clicking here. And to create another page for the book, click here. We can either choose a blank page or a page with the same layout and features as our current page. We'll choose that. On this page, we only need one text box. So we'll delete this one by selecting it and then clicking here. We'll add another picture box and make it transparent. And here we'll add examples of reptiles to each picture box. and we'll type in some text. Tortoises and lizards are both reptiles. For this text, we'll center it and make it larger. Finally, let's create a cover page for our book. We'll use this again to make another page with the same layout as this one but we'll move the text box to the top for a title 
and move the picture boxes down. We'll make the title larger and change its colour. Add a border and a background colour for the text box. Let's add another picture box and some images from the Crickpix Animals folder. We'll remove the speaker button for this page. Now we need to move our cover to the beginning of our book, so we'll go to the page sorter by clicking here. It shows us all of the pages in our book. By right clicking on any of the pages we can delete the pages or make copies of them. Or we can drag pages to reorder them. Double click to reopen to that page. And now we'll click go to see our finished book. On the final page, a return arrow is automatically created to send us back to the beginning. To save the clicker book, go to the clicker sets ribbon and click save. Be sure to visit Learning Grids for hundreds of free, ready-made clicker books that you can use and edit for your learners. Thanks for watching. See our other tutorials for more clicker features.